Hey, yo, what's good to all my motion users out there? This is Snow. I'm going to attempt to uh, give you a little quick tip on how I um, get started with my photos when I'm doing a montage. So the first thing I want to do is uh, go up to the top here where it says object. Click on it. It'll give you your drop down list. Come down to new drop zone. And it puts a drop zone in that location uh, on your screen. Um, and a drop zone actually is just uh, a placeholder for your photos. And what I mean is you can take a photo from here or wherever on your computer, just drag it in, let it go, and there's your photo in that slot. So, um, but what we want to do is just create a bunch of drop zones to uh, show you how I kind of maneuver around the screen. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to Command Z. I'm going to take that photo out because actually what I do is I put my photos in last. I create all my drop zones, see how everything looks. Then I'll go back and put my, my uh, photos in. You don't necessarily have to do yours like that. That's just how I do mine. So now what I'm going to do, um, once I get my drop zone there, I'm going to scale it down. So I'm going to hold down my shift um, key and drag down to whatever size you want your photo to be. Um, let it go. And from there, you can let go your shift key. Then come over and press your option key. And while holding down the option key, click and drag another picture out. Boom. Let that one go. Then do the same thing again. Click, hold down the option key, drag it out, and just create as many as you would like on the screen. So again, that's option, click, and drag. All right. So now that I have those on the screen, now the next thing I do when I get here, I'm just lining them up now. Okay. The next thing I do once I get here is I want to... Uh, scale some of these photos down. So we'll go with uh, this drop zone right here. We got to create a 3D. Put a camera on it, on everything. Switch it to switch to 3D. Now I have my camera where I can uh, um, just just view the whole screen. You know what I mean? Just see what I mean? I can I can twist. I can turn. Whatever. You know. All right. We'll Command Z. Take that back out. All right. So now that you see how that works, that I have my camera up here. So what I want to do is. Instead of controlling all the camera, well, controlling the camera by itself, I want to control each individual picture. So I'm going to click on this one picture here. What I want to do is go to my my HUD, and here's my HUD that brings up my HUD over here. I'm going to pull this out, and now my HUD operates each individual picture individually. Remember, the camera operates everything together. See, okay, regardless of which one you have pressed. But what I want to do is work the controls of each individual picture. So I'm going to scale this particular picture here. This is the one that's highlighted. If I change it, click on this one that highlights that one, boom, and so forth. So I'm going to change this picture. I'm going to scale it down some. Scale it down there. I'm going to scale this one down a little bit. Scale this one forward. I'll leave that one there as it is. And I'm going to scale this one a little bit down. And I'm going to turn them now. So what I'll do is, as you notice, when you click on these pictures, it gives you some controls. This one turns it. And it's, it's, it's likewise, this, way, this one does that. And this one goes there. So I'm going to turn, turn some of these photos. I'm going to turn that one like that. I'm going to do this one. I'm going to turn it. Uh, there, I'm going to do the same thing with this one, I'll turn it there, that one, I'll go there. And you know what, I'm going to move these pictures again a little bit. I don't really like the location of them being exactly there, so I'm just going to drag this one over a little bit more. Do the same thing with this one and this one here. Okay, now once I get those in place the way I like them to be, then what you want to do is this is where the fun begins. You would come up here to where your it says active camera. And I'm, uh, let's go ahead and move this off the screen. I don't need that anymore. All right. Click on my active camera. And here it will control my photos. It will switch them around however I want to. I'm going to come down where it says frame object. Once I click on that, boom, it frames that object. I'll click on this next drop zone here. Now I'm going to same thing here, frame object. Boom. Okay. Click on that. Frame object. Get the point. 
name object. So that's how I create some of my drop zones. So from there, that's a little quick tip. You can take it and run with it. I mean, it's limit uses of this right here that you can use in your, in your montages. Uh, you can slow the photos down, they turn, you can flip them however you want it to do. But that's your quick tip on how to maneuver your photo montage.